As the German CTO of Microsoft confirmed the existence of GPT-4, rumors began to circulate that it would be a multimodal language model, unlike its predecessors GPT-3.5 and ChatGPT, which are purely text-based. Then Microsoft announced Visual Chat GPT, which may provide a preview of what large multimodal language models like GPT-4 could look like. While there may be no direct connection between the two, Visual Chat GPT has opened up interesting possibilities for ChatGPT-based image editing and understanding, providing insight into what GPT-4 might look like. Firstly, it is intriguing how efficient communication of image information has been achieved with Visual Chat GPT. Although Chat GPT has limited ability to process visual information, the prompt manager which was proposed in Visual Chat GPT organizes up to 22 visual foundation models, which includes text-to-image, control net, and pix-to-pix functionalities together, and converts all visual signals of an image into language that Chat GPT can comprehend. While this may seem like a forced workaround where Chat GPT is still using text to understand things. The prompt manager performs various tasks to convert non-language information into something ChatGPT can understand. For instance, when uploading images, the prompt manager synthesizes an internal chat history that includes the image file name so that ChatGPT can refer to it accurately. Additionally, it enables chaining operations, where multiple processes can be ordered and organized by the prompt manager, allowing for object changes in the scene while simultaneously altering its style using different visual foundation models. The name of the image would act as an operation history, which is an interesting way of saving information, not gonna lie. Also, hard-coded questions would be added as inner thoughts, such as asking do I need to use this tool for ChatGPT to call the correct VFM operation. In the best case scenario, multiple rounds of dialogues between Visual ChatGPT and the user are possible. Enabling Visual ChatGPT to understand human intent, support language and image inputs, and accomplish complex visual tasks such as generation, questioning, and editing. However, challenges such as naming the right file, distinguishing the right file name, calling the right functions, chaining the right VFM, communicating with ChatGPT, ChatGPT correctly may still appear. While we know that ChatGPT sometimes is really bad at following or generating very strict and specific instructions anyway, so your expectation of visual ChatGPT shouldn't be higher than that. Contrarily, watching its demo can make you interpret much more than what it actually can do though, aka cherry-picked results, which is sometimes a bad thing, but they are still capable of doing what they are shown. Or do they? While I asked for a cake, it generated me a character sheet. So that was a fucking lie. So I got it working on Windows machine, and interestingly, to be able to handle all of the 22 VFM functions, you would need an A100 to do that, because it requires insane amount of GPU RAM. And I got it working by only running 4 out of the 22 functions, which includes text to image, image to canny edge, image captioning, and blip for image description generations. You can refer to this table for how much VRAM each VFM functions uses. After testing a few times, I realized that I cannot replicate what the demo video did, and the results I got were pretty bad. I even thought it might be because they are using Stable Diffusion 1.5, so I switched it manually to Stable Diffusion 2.1 as the model, and the quality didn't change that much either. I tried asking it about the image samplers or CFG values, and it seems that it doesn't really understand what those values are, and when I specified the samplers or the CFG values, I doubt that it really considers them when use generating. What's even worse is that, since it uses ChatGPT and it requires its API which costs money, it didn't even take 30 dialogues that generate around 20 images to cost me $1. Just exactly how many API calls is it doing? So it's a bit too expensive for its quality in my humble opinion. But chaining operations did work and it was pretty neat. But another downside is that unlike the demo, the whole dialogue doesn't display the images for some reason, so you would need to have your file explorer at the side to view your results in the meantime. And yeah, that's it about Visual Chat GPT. The whole workflow management by the prompt manager is pretty impressive and I feel like this is something I would see in a startup company. However, I definitely feel the overhype about this project because I saw a lot of people praising how cool this is and it got like 6k stars in 2 days. But the researchers still made an amazing work and I cannot undermine that. I would definitely clickbait this as GPT-4 preview though since it is also published by Microsoft. So sorry not sorry. And thank you guys for watching. A big shout out to Andrew Laschelius, Chris Ledoux, Alex Maurice, and many others that support me through Patreon or YouTube. Follow my Twitter for the latest shit post, and I'll see you in the next one.